Hello people, today I'm going to be doing a review on Elephant Learning and its program. If you want to know more about Elephant Learning and what it is, you can basically go on to the card that is right over there. And uh, you can also check out my other videos. Before going into the review, make sure to subscribe and put a like in this video and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss it if any of my videos come up. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a review on elephant learning and I'm going to be doing an exercise of 10 minutes so that I could solve some questions and be able to give my reviews and comments. So let's get started. I'm going to continue coursework and like I did uh, algebraic operations one last time, uh, was last time uh, right now I'm going to be doing introduction to the written language of mathematics. So here you go, level 61. First, we have to watch this video. So let's turn it on. Congratulations, you have entered our algebra game. There are several things you need to know continuing on into this game. First, moving forward, we're going to take a more written approach. Mathematics is a written language, and so it makes sense to learn how to read it by actually reading it. The game is about identifying and creating true statements. In doing that, you also need to be able to identify false statements. If you get good at this game, you will find that you're able to do this outside of mathematics as well. Have fun! Second, the videos on the dashboard are now for you, the student. If you need any extra help, check out the videos on the dashboard. Third, we're also introducing the language of coding. What you will learn is that the language of mathematics and the language of code are very similar. We reuse a lot of the same symbols, notations, and methodologies. Having said that, a computer is a machine and requires that we have zero ambiguity. So you're going to notice some key differences in how the language is being expressed. The end result is that you will feel confident to ask people what written mathematics means if something does not seem true. The clarification helps you understand the conversation, whether it be with a teacher, a parent, or another student. All right, so... Congratulations! You have entered... Very encouraging speech. Very, um... Encouraging. And I also learned that mathematics has a relation with coding and elephant learning could also be used to um, watch videos. And like it says, if you're a student, you can always watch videos that you want to so that you can uh, learn mathematics whenever you want because, like it said, it is yours. So let's get right on to it. <laughs> Here are a few definitions. So, uh, these are the definitions, and uh, we'll look at them. And all right, so a variable is a symbol or a word that we use in a language as a placeholder for an unknown or abstract value or quantity. So, it's a symbol or a word, let's say n that we use in the language as uh, to replace the number that is missing. An expression is a statement in mathematics that contains a variable. So 5n uh, multiplied by 3 equals to 15. We typically use the symbols like x or y to represent variables. Uh, so me, I used n in this case, but it really doesn't matter. In some contexts, words can also serve as variables. So um, let's say banana. Yes. The expression x plus 1 is a good example of how we use variables. We do not know the quantity of x, and it may be referring to any number like uh, 12. 12 plus 1, 13. It could be expressing 999,999,000. We don't know. However, the reader understands that whatever the valuable uh, value of x, what the author is speaking about is the value received by adding 1 to the unknown number. So, okay. Try the following examples. 
All right. So, um, when writing mathematics, people tend to use a shorthand. Multiplication is typically written as a set of variables or numerals together without spaces. For example, 3x uh, or 3 multiplied by x and um, x multiplied by, uh, whoops, x plus x plus x each represent the same value. So x is the variable, uh, it's the same thing as, uh, 3x is the same thing as 3 multiplied by x which is x plus x plus x. With division, we tend to use fraction notation, like 3 out of x or um, 3 out of x again, instead of 3 divided by x. So fraction is the same thing as division, so we could yeah use that. Suppose x equals to 4. What is the value of 3x? So like Elephant Learning teaches us already on the top, you can use that as the kind of reference. 4 multiplied by 3 equals to 12 because there is no space between the two of them. And if there's a variable or a set of numbers, it's always multiplication. So it's 12. If x is 12, then what is the value of 12 out of 2? 12 out of 2, we'll have to do the division. 12 divided by 2 equals 2, 6. So, oops, 6. They're more like flashcards than questions, but yeah, it's a very good, a very fun example of how to <laughs> answer questions. So if x equals to 4, then what is the value of 7x? 7 multiplied by 4 equals to 28. There you go. Find the value of 36 out of 6. Find the value of 28 out of 4. 36 divided by 6 equals to 6, and 28 divided by 4 equals to 7. So 6 and 7, there you go. Expressions at times may be simplified. Can you simplify 3x plus 2x? Um, we could say... Um, x plus no x multiplied by uh, 3 plus 2 um oh maybe you could say 5x because uh it requires a few numbers to write and like it says on the top of the flashcard right over here 3x plus 2x equals to x plus plus x plus x plus x plus x equals to 5x if x uh, equals to 12 evaluate x out of 3 plus 45 out of 9 so 45 out of 9 it is um 5 and 12 divided by 3 equals to 4 so 4 plus 5 equals to 9 and oh it also says uh, if evaluate parentheses first so it's actually mentioning that we shouldn't do let's say 3 plus 45 and then we do some division there we're not supposed to do that it is 9 bravo <laughs> All right, so playtime limit is reached, but I think that Elephant Learning, it actually showed us a lot of ways um, to, you know, uh, do some number working and all the variables. And I like the way how they teach us before actually doing the exercise, but for now, that is all. And if you wanna watch my other Elephant Learning review videos you can go to the description below and search more in my channel so thanks for watching guys and i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe and like again and see you guys next time in another video so ciao